On the outskirts of Guanghan City, in Sichuan Province, China, the discovery of the Sank Singdui ruins shocked the world. This archaeological result not only reveals the glory of the ancient Shu civilization more than 4,000 years ago, but also provides a new perspective for the study of ancient Chinese civilization. The cultural relics unearthed in Sank Singdui, with their unique artistic style and mysterious symbolic meaning, challenge our traditional understanding of ancient Chinese history and culture. The Classic of Mountains and Seas, as a comprehensive collection of mythology and geography in ancient China, has long been regarded as an important document for the study of ancient mythology, geography, biology, and folk customs. However, it was not until the discovery of Sank Singdui that people began to re-examine many contents in the Book of Mountains and Seas and explore whether the rare animals and magical geography described in it had realistic prototypes or historical backgrounds. Many discoveries in Sank Singdui, especially those that are surprisingly similar to the content of the classic of Mountains and Seas, seem to give reality to the myth in this ancient book. The potential connection between Sank Singdui and the classic of Mountains and Seas not only provides new clues for our understanding of the religious beliefs, culture, art, and social life of the ancient Shu civilization, but may also reveal the ancients' cognition and imagination of nature and the universe. This article aims to explore how the Sank Singdui discovery confirms part of the content in the classic of Mountains and Seas, thereby providing a new perspective for studying the origin, development and status of ancient Chinese civilization in global ancient civilizations. Overview of Sank Singdui The Geographical Location and Archaeological Background of Sank Singdui The Sank Singdui site is located in Guanghan City, Sichuan Province, China, close to the northwest edge of the Qingdu Plain. This area has flat terrain and crisscrossed rivers. It has been an important birthplace of the ancient Shu civilization since ancient times. The first discovery of the Sank Singdui ruins can be traced back to the 1930s, but it was not until 1986 that systematic archaeological excavations began, revealing a corner of the mysterious veil of ancient Shu civilization. With the deepening of excavation work, Sank Singdui has gradually become an indispensable and important link in the study of ancient Chinese civilization. Its discovery has provided precious physical information for understanding the social structure, culture and art, and religious beliefs of Shu 4,000 years ago. Overview of main excavation results in recent years. In recent years, the archaeological work at the Sank Singdui site has made breakthrough progress and a large number of precious cultural relics have been unearthed, including bronzes, jade, gold, and pottery. Among them, the most eye-catching are the large number of bronze wares with unique shapes, especially large-scale wares such as bronze standing figures, bronze masks, and bronze sacred trees, which demonstrate the extraordinary artistic talent and unimaginable creativity of ancient shoe craftsmen. Bronze standing human statues, these standing human statues are tall and majestic, with mysterious and solemn expressions. They are considered to be statues of gods used by the ancient Shu people for sacrifice or portraits of prominent figures. Bronze masks, some of these masks have the characteristic of vertical eyes, that is, abnormally enlarged eyes and strange shapes, which has triggered endless speculation about their symbolic meaning. Bronze sacred tree, the sacred tree has a complex shape, lush branches, and leaves, and bird-shaped decorations are often found on the top. It is considered to symbolize the ancient people's yearning and worship of heaven. Other cultural relics such as jade zhang and golden staff also demonstrate the profound cultural heritage and exquisite craftsmanship of the ancient Shu civilization. In addition, a large amount of ivory, seashells, and evidence of trade with distant civilizations were unearthed from the Sank Singdui site indicating that there were extensive contacts and exchanges between ancient Shu and external civilizations. These discoveries in Sank Singdui not only provide us with an intuitive image of ancient Shu culture and art, but more importantly, they allow us to have a glimpse into the daily life and spiritual world of ancient Shu society 4,000 years ago, which is very important for studying the origin and development of ancient Chinese civilization. Is of extremely important significance. As more cultural relics are excavated and studied, the Sank Singdui site will undoubtedly play an increasingly important role in interpreting the history of ancient civilizations in China and even the world. Introduction to the Classic of Mountains and Seas
An overview of the historical status and content of the Classic of Mountains and Seas. The Classic of Mountains and Seas is a strange book in ancient China that integrates geography, mythology, folk customs, biology, and other elements. It was written between the Warring States period and the early Han Dynasty. The book is divided into four parts, Shan Jing, Si Jing, Great Wilderness Jing, and Overseas Jing, with a total of 18 chapters. By describing various sacred mountains, seas, strange creatures, and gods, it builds an imaginative world, the ancient mythical world of power. The classic of mountains and seas not only records the geographical knowledge of ancient China, but also incorporates a large number of myths, legends, and folk legends, providing us with a wealth of ancient cultural information and historical materials. As a treasure of ancient Chinese culture, the classic of mountains and seas has always enjoyed a very high status in history. It is not only an important document for the study of ancient geography, mythology, folklore, biology, and other fields, but has also been widely cited in later literature, art and even religion, and has had a profound impact on traditional Chinese culture. The Research Value of the Classic of Mountains and Seas in Ancient and Modern Times in ancient times, the classic of mountains and seas was regarded as an important document for exploring the mysteries of nature and the origin of mankind. Many scholars have tried to interpret ancient society's understanding of nature and the universe and their cosmology through their research. At the same time, as a collection of ancient geography and mythology, the classic of mountains and seas provides precious original data for subsequent geographical and historical research helping to understand the ancient Chinese people's understanding and imagination of their living environment. In modern times, with the development of archaeology and the deepening of philology, the research value of the classic of mountains and seas has been further explored. Archaeological discoveries, such as the cultural relics unearthed from the Sank Singdui site, have many similarities with the descriptions in the classic of mountains and seas. This not only confirms the authenticity of some contents in the classic of mountains and seas, but also provides a new perspective for the study of ancient civilizations. In addition, modern scholars are also trying to explore the relationship between ancient humans and nature reflected in the book of mountains and seas as well as the cultural psychology and social structure behind it from multiple perspectives such as cultural anthropology, folklore, and ecology so as to enrich our understanding of ancient Chinese civilization. The classic of mountains and seas is not only an important document in ancient China, but also a valuable resource for studying ancient culture, history, art and natural knowledge. Its research value across time and space makes it an important bridge, connecting ancient times and modern times, mythology and reality. With the continuous advancement of in-depth research on the classic of mountains and seas, the direct connection between Sank Singdui and the classic of mountains and seas. Similarity analysis between Fusong tree and bronze sacred tree. The bronze sacred tree unearthed from the Sank Singdui site is one of the most eye-catching discoveries in recent years. Its similarity to the Fusong tree described in the Shan Hai Jing provides insights into the connection between myths and reality in ancient China. Important clues. The classic of mountains and seas. The Great Wilderness East describes the hibiscus tree as a sacred tree in mythology. There are ten suns perched on the tree. One sun rises along the branches every day, causing the phenomenon of sunrise and sunset. The height, distribution of branches and leaves, and the bird-shaped decoration on the top of the bronze sacred tree unearthed in Sank Singdui are strikingly similar to the description of the hibiscus tree in the Book of Mountains and Seas. They all demonstrate the ancient people's mythical expression of the concepts of the universe, heaven, earth, and time. From a morphological point of view, Sank Singdui's bronze sacred tree has a fine structure and clear layers. Each layer has three branches extending outward, and the top is decorated with a sunbird. This design not only reflects the superb skills of ancient craftsmen, but also reflects the ancient times. The Shu civilization has a unique understanding of astronomy and the concept of the universe. This characteristic, which matches the depiction of the Fusong tree in the classic of mountains and seas, provides physical evidence for our understanding of mythological elements in ancient documents. It also reveals how ancient people expressed their awe of nature and the order of the universe through artistic creation. 
and cognition. Zongmu masks compared with mythical creatures in the classic of mountains and seas. Another batch of eye-catching cultural relics unearthed from Sank Singdui are Zongmu masks. The distinctive feature of these masks is their abnormally enlarged eyes and weird shapes, which give people a strong visual impact. This is strikingly similar to the descriptions of some mythical creatures, especially the Candle Dragon, in the Classic of Mountains and Seas. The Classic of Mountains and Seas records that Zhulong is a mythical creature that can control light and darkness day and night. Its eyes are vertical eyes, symbolizing its supernatural abilities. The discovery of Zongmu masks provides an important material basis for studying the images of such mythical creatures in the Classic of Mountains and Seas. On the one hand, these masks may be the ancient Shu people's reproduction of the mythical creatures described in the Classic of Mountains and Seas or be influenced by similar myths and legends, reflecting the ancients' worship and awe of the mysterious power. On the other hand, the Zongmu masks the existence also reminds us that some so-called mythical elements in the Classic of Mountains and Seas may originate from ancient people's observation and imagination of natural phenomena and social life and this imagination is not limited to the Central Plains region, but also exists in the ancient Shu region. Through the comparative analysis of the Fusong tree and the bronze sacred tree, the Zongmu mask and the mythical creatures in the Book of Mountains and Seas, it is not difficult to find that there is a direct connection between Sank Singdui and the Book of Mountains and Seas. This connection not only enriches our understanding of the ancient book, the classic of mountains and seas, and reveals the possible real historical and cultural foundation behind it, but also provides a new perspective for the study of ancient Chinese civilization. The mythical creatures and magical geography recorded in the book of mountains and seas were once considered to be products of the imagination of the ancients. However, the archaeological discoveries in Sank Singdui have shown the possible prototypes of these mythical elements in physical form, thus proving many of the concepts in the Book of Mountains and Seas. The content may be based on ancient people's observation and understanding of natural and social phenomena. This discovery is of great significance for understanding the formation and development of ancient culture, illustrating the ancient Chinese's profound understanding of nature and the universe and how they expressed their understanding and explanation of the world through myths and legends. At the same time, this also shows the possible cultural exchanges and influences between ancient Chinese civilization and other ancient civilizations, further confirming the diversity and openness of ancient Chinese culture. Discussion on the relationship between other cultural relics and the classic of mountains and seas. Comparison between the god of spring, Jumong, and the statue of a human-headed bird-body statue. The spring god Jumong in the classic of mountains and seas is described as a god with the body of a bird and the face of a human, symbolizing the arrival of spring and the resurrection of life. The human-headed bird-body statue found in the Sank Singdui ruins has striking similarities with the description of Jumong in the Book of Mountains and Seas. This kind of statue is usually interpreted as the patron saint of the ancient Shu civilization or a symbol of certain religious beliefs. Its image of a human head and a bird's body may symbolize the connection between heaven and earth, as well as the worship of natural forces. This comparison not only confirms the possible true basis of some contents in the classic of mountains and seas, but also reflects the exchange and resonance of myths legends, and religious beliefs between ancient Shu and the Central Plains. The connection between the bronze sacred bird and the colorful bird in the Classic of Mountains and Seas. The Classic of Mountains and Seas records a variety of rare and exotic animals in mythology, among which the colorful bird is an auspicious symbol, symbolizing good luck and beauty. The bronze sacred bird unearthed in Sank Singdui has attracted people's attention with its exquisite shape and complex patterns. These bronze sacred birds may be related to the colorful birds in the classic of mountains and seas, as an expression of the ancient Shu people's understanding of nature, the universe, and the mythical world. The unearthing of the bronze sacred bird not only provides physical evidence for the study of religious beliefs and artistic expressions in ancient Shu, but may also reveal the cultural background and historical truth about colorful birds and other mythical creatures in the Book of Mountains and Seas. The connection between bronze standing figures, golden staffs, etc., and ancient mythology. Cultural relics such as the bronze standing man and golden staff at Sank Singdui demonstrate the high achievements of the ancient Shu civilization with their unique style and exquisite craftsmanship. 
These cultural relics may be related to gods or heroes in ancient mythology, reflecting the ancients' pursuit and worship of power, authority and sanctity. For example, the solemn posture and mysterious face of the bronze standing figure may represent a god or ruler in the ancient Shu civilization, while the golden staff may be a symbol of power and sanctity. These cultural relics echo the mythological stories and images of gods recorded in the classic of mountains and seas, indicating the widespread worship of supernatural powers and imagination of the mythical world that existed in ancient Chinese culture. In-depth comparison and discussion of other cultural relics in Sank Singdui and the classic of mountains and seas not only reveals the possible connection between ancient myths and reality, but also reflects the richness and diversity of ancient Chinese civilization in myth creation, religious belief and artistic expression. This cross-era and cross-cultural dialogue provides valuable clues and opens a new window for us to understand and reconstruct the multidimensional face of ancient Chinese civilization. Exploration of Sank Singdui Culture and Ancient Shu Civilization Analyze the characteristics of Sank Singdui Culture and the historical status of the ancient Shu Kingdom. The distinctive features of Sank Singdui Culture are reflected in its unique artistic style, complex religious belief system and highly developed bronze craftsmanship. These cultural characteristics reveal the unique status of the ancient Shu civilization in ancient Chinese civilization and are in sharp contrast to the Central Plains culture of the same period. The ancient Shu kingdom, as one of the important countries in Chinese history, its civilization's prosperity and cultural achievements have been fully demonstrated in the excavation of the Sank Singdui site. On the one hand, the bronze art of Sank Singdui demonstrates the excellent metal processing technology and profound artistic creativity of the ancient Shu people. Among them, the bronze masks, bronze standing figures, and bronze sacred trees not only reach a very high level in technology, but their artistic expressions are also rich in profound symbolic meaning, reflecting the unique cosmology and religious beliefs of the ancient Shu civilization. On the other hand, the sacrificial activities and religious beliefs in Sank Singdui culture reveal the social structure and power composition of ancient Shu society. Symbolic patterns on bronzes, huge sacrificial sites, and artifacts related to mythical creatures indicate that ancient Shu society may have had a complex religious system and hierarchy, in which religious sacrificial activities played a key role in maintaining social order and the legitimacy of royal power. Effect Discuss the importance of Sank Singdui cultural relics to understanding the ancient Shu civilization. The unearthed cultural relics at Sank Singdui have provided us with precious physical information for studying ancient Shu civilization, and are of great significance for understanding the economic, political, cultural, and religious life of ancient Shu society. First of all, these cultural relics allow us to intuitively observe the exquisite craftsmanship and the diversity of ancient Shu culture and help reveal the lifestyle and way of thinking of the ancient Shu people. Secondly, the discovery of Sank Singdui also promoted the study of cultural exchanges between ancient Shu and other regions, especially its interaction with the cultures of the Central Plains and the Far East, providing a new perspective for studying cultural exchanges in ancient China and even East Asia. In addition, the symbol systems, texts, and sacrificial scenes in the Sank Singdui cultural relics provide direct evidence for the study of religious beliefs and myths and legends in ancient Shu, and help us gain a deeper understanding of the ancient Shu people's cognition and imagination of the universe, nature, and society. Through the study of these cultural relics, we can not only reconstruct the historical appearance of the ancient Shu civilization, but also further explore its role and status in the historical process of ancient China. The excavation of Sank Singdui cultural relics not only greatly enriches our understanding of ancient Shu civilization, but also provides valuable empirical materials for studying the origin, development and diversity of ancient Chinese civilization. With the further deepening of archaeological work in the future, the study of Sank Singdui culture and ancient Shu civilization will surely open up a broader research field. The Impact of the Sank Singdui Discovery on the Theory of the Origin of Chinese Culture How Sank Singdui Cultural Relics Challenge Traditional Theories of the Origin of Chinese Culture The excavation of the Sank Singdui site and the unearthing of cultural relics have posed a major challenge to the traditional theory of the origin of Chinese culture. 
For a long time, academic circles have generally believed that the origin and early development of Chinese culture were mainly concentrated in the Yellow River Basin, which is the so-called Sinocentric theory. However, the discovery of Sank Singui shows that about 4,000 years ago, the ancient Shu civilization in the Sichuan Basin had reached a high level of cultural development, especially in bronze crafts and religious art, showing a completely different style and characteristics from the Yellow River culture. This means that during the formation and development of ancient Chinese civilization, in addition to the known Yellow River civilization, there were other highly developed local civilizations, which together constituted the diverse origins of Chinese culture. Cultural relics such as bronze masks, sacred trees, and complex sacrificial sites in Sank Singui reveal that ancient Shu society had an independent religious system and spiritual world. Compared with the bronzes from the Central Plains region of the same period, the styles and production techniques of these cultural relics show obvious differences and regional characteristics, indicating that the cultural and technological development of ancient China was not driven by a single center, but multiple cultural centers participated and influenced each other. Evidence of exchanges between Sank Singdui and other ancient civilizations and their significance. Certain elements in the Sank Singdui artifacts, such as golden staffs, jade rings, and specific symbols and patterns, show links to ancient civilizations in Central Asia and beyond. For example, animal totems and symbols on some bronze vessels have also been found in ancient cultures in Central Asia and even West Asia, indicating that there were extensive exchanges and interactions between the ancient Shu people and distant civilizations. This cross-regional cultural exchange is important for understanding the extent of globalization in the ancient world. It not only proves that ancient Shu was not isolated from world civilization, but was an important part of actively participating in ancient cultural exchanges between the East and the West. Through these exchanges, the ancient Shu civilization absorbed foreign technologies and artistic styles, while also spreading its own cultural achievements to distant places promoting mutual understanding and development between different civilizations. The evidence of exchanges between Sank Singdui and other ancient civilizations challenges the previous view of the relatively independent development of ancient civilizations and emphasizes the complexity of the interconnection of ancient civilizations from the perspective of globalization. This discovery provides new perspectives and thinking for re-evaluating the status and role of Chinese culture in global ancient civilizations as well as understanding the dynamic process of cultural exchanges in the ancient world. The discovery of Sank Singdui not only challenges the traditional theory of the origin of Chinese culture, emphasizing the plurality and regional diversity of culture, but also reveals the complex exchanges and interactions between ancient civilizations, providing a foundation for understanding Chinese culture and its role in ancient civilizations around the world. Location provides a new framework for understanding. Research on Sank Singdui and the classic of mountains and seas from an interdisciplinary perspective. Folklore and religious studies interpretation of Sank Singdui and the classic of mountains and seas. From the perspective of folklore and religion, the connection between Sank Singdui and the classic of mountains and seas not only provides us with material cultural evidence of the ancient Shu civilization, but also deepens our understanding of ancient Chinese religious beliefs and folklore. By analyzing the bronze masks, sacred trees, and other cultural relics unearthed in Sank Singdui, folklorists have explored the religious concepts, sacrificial rituals and relationship between the ancient Shu people and nature and the universe. There is a direct connection to the worship of nature. For example, the bronze masks at Sank Singdui may represent gods or totems worshipped by the ancient Shu people, which bear striking resemblance to the mythical creatures depicted in the Book of Mountains and Seas reflecting the ancients' awe and imagination of supernatural powers. At the same time, the discovery of the bronze sacred tree has been interpreted as corresponding to the Fusang tree in the Shan Hai Jing, symbolizing life, regeneration, and the order of the universe, revealing the way ancient people interpreted cosmic cycles and natural phenomena. Religious scholars started from the religious art and symbolic meaning of Sank Singdui to explore the connections and differences between the mythological beliefs in the ancient Shu civilization and other civilizations in ancient China. Through comparative analysis, the relationship between the myths and the classic of mountains and seas and Sank Singdui cultural relics provides a new way to understand ancient Chinese religious thought and cosmology.
and also provides valuable clues for studying the exchanges and influences between ancient cultures. Re-understanding the mythology and geography in the classic of mountains and seas through the Sank Singdui discovery. The discovery of Sank Singdui is of great significance for re-understanding the mythological stories and geographical descriptions in the classic of mountains and seas. Ancient myths and legends are often based on the observation and imagination of natural phenomena. The specific forms and symbol systems of Sank Singdui cultural relics provide us with clues to decode the realistic basis behind the myths in the Shan Hai Jing. For example, the discovery of the Sank Singdui Zongmu mask makes the description of Zhulong and other Zongmu creatures in the Book of Mountains and Seas no longer pure fantasy, but may be based on the concrete expression of some important totem or god in ancient Shu culture. Similarly, the unearthing of the bronze sacred tree also reminds us that the descriptions of Fusong trees and other sacred trees in the classic of mountains and seas may reflect ancient people's profound thinking about life, death, and the order of the universe. By combining multidisciplinary research such as archaeology, folklore, and religion, we can not only understand the connotation and characteristics of Sank Singdui culture more comprehensively, but also examine the ancient book, The Classic of Mountains and Seas, from a new perspective and discover the historical truth behind it, and cultural values. Research on Sank Singdui and Shan Hai Jing shows that the boundaries between ancient myths and reality are not static, but are constructed and reshaped through constant cultural practice. This provides valuable resources and inspiration for us to further explore the diversity and complexity of ancient Chinese civilization. In conclusion, the discovery of Sank Singdui and the confirmation of the content of the classic of mountains and seas contribute to the study of ancient Chinese civilization. The excavation of the Sank Singdui site and the in-depth study of its cultural relics, as well as the significant connection between these discoveries and the contents of the classic of mountains and seas, have provided us with new perspectives and abundant material evidence for our understanding and reconstruction of ancient Chinese civilization. These discoveries not only challenge the traditional theory of a single origin of Chinese culture, but also reveal the diversity and complexity of ancient Chinese civilization, showing a more open and interconnected ancient world. Through the comparative study of Sank Singdui and Shan Hai Jing, we can more clearly see the ancient people's observation and understanding of the natural world and how they integrated these understandings into their own religious beliefs and artistic creations. This cross-era dialogue not only enriches our understanding of the ancient Shu civilization, but also provides new clues for understanding the historical status and cultural value of the ancient book, The Classic of Mountains and Seas. Future Research Directions and Possibilities for Interdisciplinary Collaboration Faced with the close connection between Sank Singdui and The Classic of Mountains and Seas, future research is expected to be carried out in the following directions. Deepen the combination of archaeology and documentary research, through detailed analysis of the cultural relics unearthed in Sank Singdui and comparative research on the mythical creatures and geographical environment described in the Book of Mountains and Seas, we will further explore the direct connection and cultural connotation between the two. Interdisciplinary Cooperation The study of ancient civilizations is not only the field of archaeology or philology, but also involves folklore, religion, art history, natural science, and other disciplines. Through interdisciplinary cooperation and the comprehensive use of a variety of research methods and technical means, we can more comprehensively understand the historical background and cultural value of Sank Singdui culture and the classic of mountains and seas. Interaction of ancient civilizations from a global perspective The connections between Sank Singdui cultural relics and distant civilizations remind us that cultural exchanges in the ancient world may be more extensive and deeper than we imagine. Future research can explore the interactions and influences between ancient Chinese civilization and civilizations in surrounding and even further regions from a global perspective. Application of scientific and technological means in cultural heritage research with the development of science and technology, the application of advanced technologies such as remote sensing archaeology and material analysis will provide more accurate and in-depth data support for the research on the Sank Singdui site and the classic of mountains and seas. In short, the discovery of Sank Singdui and the confirmation of the content of the classic of mountains and seas not only provide us with a new way to explore ancient Chinese civilization, but also open up a broad space for future interdisciplinary cooperation and cultural heritage research, 
which indicates the progress of understanding the early human civilization. On the road to the development of civilization, we still have more mysteries waiting to be revealed.